Hey everyone, I'm Armor Gaming. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a Monster Legends video where I want to showcase what it's like to have a triple Warmaster team. So, for example, here we have Warmaster Ragnarok, the newest and latest, the final Warmaster. We have Necromancer, the Dark One, and then we have Babari, the Thunder One, and they're all running the Rainbow Build. And you might be wondering, and you might be wondering, why the Rainbow Build on all of these monsters? Where's the all speed? Where's the team speed? You have to keep in mind that these monsters. They're very low ranked or unranked. For example, Necromancer, he's at rank 1, but Bari and Ragnarok, they're unranked because it's really hard to get War Masters. You need to buy orbs, and then those orbs, you need them to complete the floors. To complete floors, you need ranked 1 monsters, ranked 2 monsters, and so on. So it's very hard to rank up War Masters for your average player. But then let's take a look at the opponents we face. We have a 120 Timurion, we have a 130, a 120, 130 Ruby. It's like you're always going to be facing ranked up monsters once you reach Legendary 4 League and above. Once you reach 5.5k trophies, all the battles get tough. So the question is, can unranked or rank 1 War Masters compete with the likes of these monsters? I think yes, and this is why I think gems are worth investing towards orbs, so then you can get War Masters. And in this particular case, I want to give a huge thanks to Wolfgang, because Wolfgang actually has all the War Masters, and so I get to make this video. And it is also going to be a primary showcase of Ragnarok, since he is the newest and latest War Master. But overall, I just want to I want to showcase the potential of War Masters. But again, with the emphasis sort of being towards Ragnarok, so he's always going to be on the team. So let's see, who do I actually want to face? Captain Kirk is actually our teammate, so I think we're going to take him on. That's why you see it's plus zero, plus zero. So that'll be fun. Let's see, Alvira, Babiaga, and Barakor. I have two Anticipation Monsters. This will be fun. So we're going to click Fight, and let's see how this battle goes. And I, should, I didn't even look at the skills for Ragnarok, but yeah, let's see what status caster he gives me. Hopefully it's Skill Mirror, Remtar. Let's see. Supercharge amulets, because I think she's gonna do Babiaga's gonna do curse. Yeah, so and it didn't matter, everything got removed. I should have gone into that battle knowing that. Because I brought Necromancer. Well, um, let's see. Demon's Flame, trade disable, and total blind, um, cooldown activated, blessing, and death door. Look at that, death door is so powerful. And I am keeping on I am rainbow build with this monster, but death door is just it's so it's such a great skill. Um there's no life regen, so I'm gonna death door. And then that way Necromancer can finish him off. So Energizer stuff. First of all, oh I can also churn transfer. First of all, I'm gonna do the extra churn skill. Give myself one immediate extra churn. And then Anima. Keep in mind the rainbow build helps me do this. Bye bye Barak Gore. Alright, words won't save you. Kid Eater. Alright, now we need to see who is a bigger threat. Well that Baba Yaga. Well actually in this case Baba Yaga can't really do anything. I'm going to go ahead and do Blessing to heal my Necromancer. I can also Trade Disable or Curse. You know what? Let's actually... Let's go with Grandmaster's Wisdom. That way Baba Yaga has to recharge. And then the Curse starts taking away HP. Alright, there's... Actually, I that was probably a misplay. I didn't need to activate cooldowns because of the Curse. We'll recharge. Forgiveness, darn it. Ooh, three Horsemen. Of course I'm going to do three Horsemen. Why not? I got an ult. I better use it. Recharge, recharge because they can't do anything to me. I can churn transfer or I can attack. Let's see how powerful my anima is. Ooh, 65 and I get to life steal. Yes, sir. So we'll life steal that. Revenge staff kicks in. Repent center. I have to recharge because I can't do anything else. Kid eater, damage, negate healing. Yaga's curse. I'm blinded. That's okay. I have one of the skills you can put on this monster, unranked, is blessing, which will heal both of my monsters by 30%, remove these negative effects, and I give myself evasion. So I'm protected for the next turn. God, I love the skill animation. Thank you, Ragnarok. And imagine, both of these monsters have actually have a reviving skill. But for, I believe for Ragnarok, you need to get them to rank 3. And for Necro, you also need them at rank 3 or is it rank 2? You guys will correct me in the, in the chat, so in the comments below, so that'll be fine. We're going to disable traits. So now the total blind did actually land. Keep in mind, she is immune. She does have immunity to blind. But thanks to trait disable, then I can blind her. I am going to turn transfer, and that gives me an extra turn, which I can use to recharge. She is going to have to recharge too, and I can do Death Door. Look at that. So Death Door, extremely powerful skill, and you might be thinking, yeah, armor this is only possible because you have high level runes, or because Wolfgang has high level runes. Like, I think they were almost all level 10 runes. Um, not really. You have to work with what you have, and personally, um, my... My Ragnarok isn't going isn't to be running Rainbow, he's going to be running a single life and then team speed. 
But also, on the note of high level runes, thanks to the whole treasure event, the treasure cave, Switch Point has made it kind of easy to get a level 10, either cheap or very reasonable. So, the whole like, oh you can only do this if you have high level runes, well, now there is kind of the opportunity for everyone to get high level runes. Let's see who we want to take on. There's a lot of Thalassas. Let's refresh. There is, ooh, there is a Necro, Ragnarok, and Remtar team. That'll be fun. Let's try and take on that team. I mean, let's bring a Remtar myself. And so Wolfgang's Remtar doesn't have any relics, but that's fine. And he also has a level 3 team speed. Again, completely fine. You could rainbow build Remtar. That's how I have him on my baby account. So we're still keeping up with the same pace, essentially. Let's take on the middle base. I'm curious how this will go. We're, it's essentially a mirror match. How fun is that? How often do you get to see that? And look, they do have level 10 runes on everything. Alright, so a uh, speed Ragnarok. That is interesting. Why would you 3 speed at level 100? I guess you can single deny a double strength Necromancer with team life and a team speed strength team speed. Okay, so Ragnarok is going first on the enemy side. Let's see what our status caster gives us. Let's see, I am curious. Let's see, let's see. What? Lord, times one is too slow. Skill mirror. I got skill mirror. Beautiful. So I get to reflect that. And they got evasion. Oh, so. Wow. Yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah. Evasion and skill mirror. Oh, dumb, dumb. Skill mirror is from Remtar. Evasion is from my War Master. And then they got evasion from. What did they get from Ragnarok? The... Was it skill mirror? Is that what they both have? Yeah, it's only. So I think Ragnarok did status caster skill mirror. It means a special immune to possession, so that's Remtar, Necromancer. Yeah, okay, cool. So I can at least attack while well, you have evasion, and then that'll be reflected. Can I do anything? Disable trait, curse, um, give myself evasion, death door. Hmm, I think I want to trait disable Remtar. That way my special attacks could actually deal damage. Alright, and now we're gonna do... So yeah, he has, he still has a skill mirror, but he has total blind. So that is awesome. Let's see, do I want to give my teammates a shield? Applies a 50% shield to all, yes. Skill mirror to myself. I think I'm going to keep the skill mirror, so I'm going to do speed of light. Th then he missed because of total blind. Cool, solar storm. Reflects it back to my team. Anima, reflect the anima. Revenge staff kicks in, that's fine with me. Energizer staff recovers his. And then that, oh, that Remtar is pretty fast, right? What am I going to do? I feel like churn transferring, but then there's two anticipation monsters, so that's too scary. I got to go after Remtar because of the special, I got to get rid of that special base attack. So let's see, Masterpiece, Skill Mirror for the team, Grandmaster's Wisdom, Curse, and Cooldown activated. So he shut me down a good amount of churns. All right, could I, I don't think I have any team removals, so that sucks. Um, I can give my team a shield though. So let's do this. Heavy metal damage to an enemy and a shield. Let's target Ragnarok since he doesn't have skill mirror. Cool. Oh, it missed? Oh, I have nanovirus. I'm like, how could that miss? That's a positive. Okay. Well, I want to get rid of nanovirus, but I'm afraid of giving two extra turns to the enemy. So I'm just going to life steal. And let's see. Who am I attacking? I am going to target. I might as well just target Remtar. Recover some HP. Ooh, this is going to be a long battle. There's Blessing. Heal and remove negative effects. I can do Death Door. And uh, we're going after... Well, let's go after Necromancer, I suppose. Revenge Staff. Oh, this is going to be a tough, long battle. Hard Light Wall, Shield to our allies. Yeah, we're going to go with the Shield. And we'll target Remtar again. Uh, not Remtar, we'll target Necromancer. Masterpiece. That's a good skill. I think if you're running a Rainbow Build Ragnarok, or even if you're not... You want skill mirror because it really makes you rethink who you're going to target. Because if that skill mirror is up, you don't want to target anyone. So we're going to recharge. Warcry, he did the extra turn skill. That was a mistake because now both of my monsters get an extra turn. I get to recharge. Oh gosh, I have to. I need to clear these negative buffs. Darn it. <laughs> okay, blessing. And please don't kill me. Oh, recharge. Thank goodness. Healing amulet. And then I'm going to hit hard with anima keep in mind we are gonna kill that remtar because he's the reason i can't use special based attacks or the reason special based attacks aren't dealing damage uh let's see blessing let's get rid of Ooh, tempted to kill necromancer but nope let's do blessing that is that is a really good team because imagine this team ranked up necromancer has a recovery extra turn skill a revival extra turn skill and even ragnarok would have a recovery extra turn skill crazy all right well we'll do speed of light even though it doesn't deal damage, we're going to hit Ragnarok. 
just so I can give myself skill mirror because I might need it. Because the AI may attack me. See? Speed of light, speed of light. Anima, anima. I don't know why why the AI isn't smart enough to not attack me. Um, we're going to Demon's Flame. Or Grandmaster Wisdom. Ooh, that'll kill Remtar. Ooh, what to do, what to do. We're going to Demon's Flame on uh, Remtar. So that way I can deal damage. We're going to recharge. And with my Remtar, we will do... Uh, apply stamina regen. Yeah. Let's hit Ragnarok. Let's start... Let's start getting rid of that shield. Solar Storm. I have Stamina Regen. Oh, Blessing removed it. Darn it. Everyone's a threat. Gosh, this battle's gonna take so long. Uh, Grandmaster Wisdom. Let's go after Remtar. Let's finish him off. The Curse should kill him. He hit me back, but that's fine. Bam. That's one down. And unfortunately, the Necromancer has no way to recover life. Hard Light Fortress. This gives my team a shield. I need it. That darn Nanovirus. I am going to... I don't need a clear nanovirus, so I'll recharge. They're not really a big threat right now. So I am fine. I'll recharge. I will do speed of light to give myself skill mirror. I'm going to target the Ragnarok because he's he's a wild card. He has so many skills at his disposal that I need to make sure to take him out. Um, we're going to target Necro just for some HP. There's that skill mirror. Really great skill. I think that's worth running. I think I would really love to have that skill. I am not going to reflect it back onto me because that's scary. Why do I have a shield if it's at zero? What? Um, so I'm going to recharge. I'm going to do nothing again because that skill mirror. It prevents me from actually doing anything. So definitely be sure to run it, especially on a rainbow build. Because keep in mind, you reflect the whole skill, meaning all the damage that goes along with it. All right, Ragnarok, it's your turn to perish. Death door. Bam, 75% HP. A lot of time. If you can just deal 75, 25% with one other monster, Ragnarok can take care of the rest with a simple skill. It's crazy. We are going to do this to activate cooldowns and then the curse. And now, you know what? I don't even mind doing extra turns. Let's turn transfer to Ragnarok. Anticipation, curse. Oops. Oh, his own extra turn skill. Thank you very much. Demon's Flame, no more anticipation for you, but you're dead. Great, great battle. That took forever, but that was awesome. Cool. Once again, a huge thanks to Wolfgang for letting me use your account, letting me use all of your War Masters to make this video. So as you can see, the level 100 War Masters, definitely, definitely usable. All right, we're going to try taking on Robert, and I switched the skills, and it was really hard deciding what skill set I wanted to give my Ragnarok, but I decided to remove... I, I, I almost removed Death Door, but I'm like, no, I want to showcase that skill, so I need it. So I kept Death Door. I removed the... The trade disable skill, and I figured, although trade disable is nice and everything, I don't really need it because I have the true vision trait, meaning I can land my other skills. So I'm still going to be able to deny Ruby, hopefully. And then I decided to keep Necromancer because he has the the anti-possession trait, so my monsters will be immune to possession. I decided to keep Remtar so I can reflect whatever Ruby throws at me, so I may get frozen or stunned. I was going to bring Alvira, but I'm like, no, I should still hopefully be able to do something. So let's see how this battle goes. It, it's going to start off with the lane odds, and I'm going to reflect it. Check it out. Lane odds. Cool. Stamina freeze. Block, block. That's fine. Um, oh, that was bad. That was strong. And I reflect that still. All right. Let's see what I can do. So I lost my turn. Cry. I get to reflect it. Man, if only I had stuff on Ramtar. He could hold a shield. He can hold a banner. So this battle might not go ideally how I would have liked. Yeah, even if I turn transfer, I can't do anything, and I can't kill Gartok. So... Not the most impressive battle, I would say. Gives one extra turn, removes all negative effects, gives one extra turn to itself. Um, yeah, let me just do this. Give myself two extra turns. Yeah, double, thanks to the skill mirror. Uh, let me turn transfer onto Ragnarok. Again, doesn't... Maybe I can cycle back into a turn transfer. Let's see. One. Two. I don't think so. I'm not going to have enough stamina. Maybe I can get alts, which really won't do much. Three and four, but I don't have enough stamina to actually turn transfer back to Ragnarok. So that's pretty much the end of that for the most part. Let's see what is going to happen to me. High wave, that is stamina drain. Oh, a miss. Can of Atlantis. What else are you going to throw at me? Ruby implosion, that'll probably land. Mega freeze, yeah. So sorry, not probably. I should have probably brought Elvira. That would have been smarter. I. Yeah, I, was, I don't know what I was thinking with the Remtar. I guess, yeah, considering I can't land anything on Warmaster Gortok, 
Not my smartest plan, but hey, it happens sometimes. Let's try again. Let's refresh. And let's go ahead and refresh one more time. And let's see what we can find. Remtar, Belbreath, Neobuki base. I can't remove that. Remtar, Neobuki, so powerful. Faraday can, can stop extra churners. But we do have a Sherizar, Neobuki. You know what? That'll be fun. We'll try that out. And let's see what am I going to bring. Alright, let's take on this pretty tough base. I decided to bring Elvira, who has team strength, and I kept Remtar. And let's see how this battle goes. I'm feeling pretty confident, but who knows? We'll see. Let's, yeah, we'll have to see. Skill Mirror, Great Dispel. Oh, um, why did I forget Sherizar's main thing is Great Dispel, which pretty much shuts down everything. My bad. Well, as you can see, Death Thor would deal a lot of damage. Um, well, hey, look, look at that. Black, this white masterpiece. I did this on purpose. Uh, so I'm going to see first let me look at relics tenacities oblation jakugan and oblation ouch that's all scary let me reactivate that skill mirror because I'm gonna need it curse of decay right back at you now you have cursed neobuki what do you do please do an extra turn skill oh immunity to control me too I don't want to get controlled so no random spell book for you shining agony right back at you faraday ouch that jakugan grandmaster scroll right back at you with cooldowns activated so all of this was thanks to skill mirror, thanks to my, not even Ramtar straight, but to my own skill. I'm going to recharge. I'm going to give my team a shield. Let's see who do I attack. Um, why did I think there was more going on? I guess I'll attack um, Faraday, go after him. Thank you for the shield. Recharge. Ooh, I mean to torture, lost a monster, healing amulet, um, death door. Look at that. Oh, I've always wondered. Will Death Door trigger? Will Death Door trigger? This is something I've wondered because I don't think it actually is an attack. So we finally get to test it out. Well, so will Blation Trap trigger is my question. Death Door. Oh, it does trigger. Okay, well, that answers that. At least I killed one and maybe I can still kill more. So let's see. Curse of Decay. Ouch, that curse is going to be a problem. Great Dispel. Oh, thanks for the extra turn. So I at least get to recharge. Random Spell Book. Ouch, that Deny. And then, oh gosh, I would have get three horsemen. Oh, thank goodness it's a recharge. Curse of Decay. Come on, do an extra turn skill or something. Nope. Uh, please do. Oh, it doesn't matter at this point. Death door to myself. What a way to end. Death door myself. So, as you can see, the last two battles didn't quite go my way. And that I guess the best I can attribute that is to the fact that I am fighting other War Masters. I am fighting other tough opponents. So... Of course, if an unranked War Master is tough, a ranked up War Master is going to be even tougher. But with that being said, let's take on the left base that has a Charmless, a Charmless and one War Master. So, this is where Anticipation is really going to kick the enemy's, the enemy's butt. Watch, as Charmless, well, I think he's going to recharge. Yeah, it's recharge, cancel, removes positive effects, words won't save you. Okay, so what can I do? Death Door, this is cut in half thanks to damage protection. Um, let's see, Remtar, I can do Grandmaster's Wisdom to apply the curse. I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna go ahead and do Death Door. No, not Death Door, I'm gonna go ahead and do Masterpiece. So that Skill Mirror can take effect. One thing I love about Skill Mirror is that when an enemy monster with an extra turn attacks you and you have Skill Mirror on, wow, not only does the Anticipation monster get an extra turn, the monster that got attacked from the extra turner gets an extra turn. So it's awesome. So let's also give re-give myself Skill Mirror, skill mirror since it's gonna be removed. So see, hat thrown, I reflect it so Ragnarok gets two turns. So now I can death delay, or death door. Uh, let's see, I'm going to do heal and evasion. That'll be nice, but I don't need it. I'm going to do uh, Grandmaster's Wisdom on... I'm going to hit uh, the bodyguard, because I actually am afraid. And then I will do... I don't need to remove anything, and I don't really need to heal, so I'll just recharge... Sweaty Blade, Anticipation kicks in, so I'm basically using the enemy's Anticipation against himself. Let me reactivate that uh, Blacksmith Masterpiece, and it also allows me to apply Nanovirus. So that's pretty cool. Entangled Cloak, oop, attack the wrong person, buddy. Now I get to do some healing, or whatever I have. Let's see what I can do. Sunburn, Forgiveness, remove negative effects, and heals. And look, this will even get reflected thanks to Skill Mirror. So it's 100% heal, essentially. So I can just kind of mess around with the enemy. So you know what, I will do Death Door. And I'll target the Shinara's bodyguard. So check, watch as I win, just because of the enemy, because of the enemy's charmless. Let's recharge. 
Heal attack. Oh, didn't know he was that strong. We'll do Blacksmith's Masterpiece. I attacked the wrong monster. I was supposed to target... Oh, thank goodness, Healing Mask. I was supposed to target Elvira. Sweaty Blade right back at you. I get two extra turns. Um, I guess I'm going to do Blessing to get rid of the poison. And then I'll do Grandmaster... I can't be too dumb about this either. Well, let's recharge. I need Masterpiece next turn. Entangled Cloak. Hits you back. What do I have? Um, Light Wall. Yeah, let's give my team a shield. Let's attack. Let's attack Elvira. I haven't hit her in a while. All right, Amulet. We'll do Masterpiece. Blacksmith's Masterpiece. So yeah, this is how Ragnarok pretty much, thanks to his trait, is going to win me the battle, essentially. Um, 33. Let's do some... Do I have life? Uh, yeah, I could use some life regen. So let's hit Elvira. Cool. If it wasn't for that damage protection, the Death Door would have been destroying. Um, that scares me so i'm gonna do blessing to get rid of the nature weakness so hat thrown i can deal with that death door oh he's running low on stamina oh poor little buddy you're low on stamina um let's activate cooldowns on elvira so she doesn't clear the negative effects or anything got myself an extra turn i can do masterpiece and we're gonna hit let's hit elvira cool because he's going to get more turns right now. Recharge and back to this little barrage of attacking back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Healing Amulet takes effect. Death Thor, I can essentially kill him now if I want to. Um, so why don't we do... Why don't we let him attack Remtar? So I will do a recharge, then a blessing. Recharge. And then blessing against Shinaro's bodyguard. My monsters heal. Got myself evasion, tis a patient kicks in, that reflection kicks in, speed of light to give myself skill, skill mirror again, and this again. So see how I'm just comboing those skills together to use the enemy's skill against him? Really awesome, it's really cool. And did I overstep it? I think I overstepped it because now I am going to die. So I better go out with a bang. Let's death door, yeah let's death door. Bye bye charmless. And uh, hopefully that's enough to kill the enemy. Uh, recharge. You're gonna have to recharge too, buddy. Awesome. Oh no, he attacked me. So I completely misplayed that too. But you guys got the whole idea of it. I got I got carried away. I should have honestly just death door a long time. But I, I wanted to keep it going. But anyhow, I hope you guys really enjoyed this. Um, the War Masters are powerful, powerful monsters. So you should be using your gems to go towards the War Masters. Number one, I still recommend Elvira. Elvira above the other War Masters. After Elvira, it's really Ragnarok or Remtar or Sherazar. I would personally say Sherazar for the majority of players, to be honest. And that's because Sherazar's trait is an AoE. Sherazar gives your whole team true vision, and that is really going to be helpful and beneficial, especially if you outpace the opponent. Because then you you essentially are not going to be missing with your deny, even if the enemy has hardened, bulwark, tough, whatever they may have. Furthermore, you also have a skill that can remove positive effects from the enemy, meaning you can actually chain deny again like the good old days. So my priority list for new players, for players starting off, would be Elvira. She can help you dominate anyone. Then would be Sherazar, because again, Sherazar's true vision trait, really helpful. Rentar's also a good choice because of Mirror Mirror. You can win so many battles with that alone, using the enemy's deny against you. If you're fighting a monster with AoE possession, you know, you just bring Remtar. You bring a monster that's immune to possession, put him in the middle. When the enemy does AoE possession, you reflect it back at the enemy. So you, you basically use the enemy's deny thanks to Remtar against themselves. So there's so so many great things, and then Ragnarok, he would be he would be my next recommendation. So and, and again for the second, it really depends on what you are, where you're at at the game, what league you're in, what kind of difficulties you're facing. But Elvira's number one, Sherazar I would say is high on number two. Ramtar Ragnarok would follow. So but again for that second spot, I can really be any one of those three. But with that being said, that is gonna be it for this video. A huge huge thanks to Wolfgang for letting me use your account to make this video, this War Master showcase this Ragnarok showcase, whatever you want to call it. And with that being said, I will see you all next time.